most ghetto setup I think I've ever done. Uh, that's a lie. It's just bad camera positioning. Uh, how, how long is this? So it says uh, 6 PST, but it actually means 9 PST. Uh, for some reason it's not, it's maximum live right now, let me fix that. Apparently, I think there's like one minute left. It's probably less than that. My alarm clock is actually later than my PC clock. I have no idea what they're gonna freaking show. I hate that this tripod is always crooked. Just by a tiny minuscule amount, I, I can, I'm trying my best to put it up as best as I can because this is a live reaction that I'm gonna have to upload tomorrow. Because in two hours, I have to go to the dentist and get my teeth drilled. So I gotta push out at least some recordings today. Like, some form. Because that would be bad if I- Oh, great! Okay, it would actually be funny if I did. Oh, jeez! It's starting. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm gonna turn it down. What you got? We'll be using today's showcase Presenting the next DOC fighter DLC with no pre-announcement. Actually, hardly anyone knows what we'll be announcing today. Yeah. Even among Nintendo staff. Now, even, even with a Nintendo? Does, are you kidding me? Have been working on this fighter hardly anyone knows. Secrecy, which means other Nintendo staff around the globe will only start making preparations for release after the showcase has been broadcast. Huh. A little so more time is needed before right we can right. release the fighter. Please understand that it will take a little time. G yeah, take your time, it's fine. Even many Nintendo Nothing to be rushed. Be surprised to see this. You don't have to be perfect. Wow, really? <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Funny so, joke. Let's all share in the fun of getting our hands on the latest information. Latest information. I would like to see. However, and hear. even if you say, that's not the character I was picturing, I hope you don't have any hard feelings. <laughs> okay. We've prepared a fighter reveal video. Once it starts, let's begin with the fighter reveal trailer. Pretty quickly. Now, let's do this. Alright. Let's see it. It's time. The new fighter has been revealed. I have no idea who the frick it is. What is this? Is this something gonna like subspit? Oh no, it's it's is this another fire emblem character? The time has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharat upon our enemies. Who's this? Uh oh. I would like to know who this is. I'm scared. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. This thing is so bright. Are you prepared to die? <laughs> are you go are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. Nice. Yet. There is no other choice. Are you, you gonna join us? Join Smash. Huh? What? Be join like Smash Brothers already. What in the world are you waiting for? Be like. Oh jeez. Be left. So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Yo, look at him! I love his outfit. I love this already. <laughs> this is not who I was expecting, but you know what? Who cares? What the? Oh, the other swords fighters. Oh, they're doing some damage. Oh, jeez. He got defeated in an instant by all the other sword fighters. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? Yeah. And you, you wield the sword as well. What will you do? Fight again? <laughs> huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. Uh. Is this? Different weapons? Oh, n recruits. A another recruit. <laughs> but it's a female one, I think. Oh. Be left, recruits, be left. No, it is a female. You should be able to handle the 
hero's relics. What? A bow, a spear, a mace, a sword, a, a, a scythe, or a spear? Holy! That looks powerful. Unleash the blinding speed of Faelnot. Faelnot got that power. Squirtle duck, Pichu, watch out! Sword, mace, spear, bow. Pichu, you can shoot all those things because that's. Re Don't attack him. <laughs> that's ridiculous. This is not what I expected, but I don't mind the smash attack. Hello? Alright! I knew it was another Fire Emblem character! <laughs> Sakura, what are you- <laughs> Hey, I see you. There you have it. Byleth from Fire Emblem. Byleth from Fire Emblem. Okay, Byleth. Three houses. was released just last summer, so it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. How soon? January 28th. Oh! For five, $5.99. And it will also be available for purchasing the Man, I'm gonna need to empty my wallet for the Nintendo Switch. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, yeah, I'm not. I'm sorry. This means I have to get into the game, I guess. Yes, what is Fire Emblem? I know it's like an RPG-like thing. It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. Oh. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. Okay, good. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you. Fire Emblem to Fire Emblem. The series first entry launched. Ooh, look at that! Is that Marth? In 1990. Nineteen ninety. I gotta play more Fire Emblem then, if this is the case. Oh, look at that. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. Tactical, yeah. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. Oh. When we talk about tactical games of that era, there were lots of ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. Is there an English version of this first game so I can play it? In Fire Emblem, each unit is a unique character. So what you told me is I need to make the biggest brigades just so they don't die. Plus, something made it stand out other Nintendo products. Characters could permanently die. Oh! They permanently die. So perhaps we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. So you're telling me is I'm playing the whole game in hardcore mode. If character fell in battle, you lose that unit. They'd be gone and you couldn't use them again. Well, are you telling me if I lose everyone, I have to restart from the plumbing beginning? Maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you. But a lot of games now allow recent entries have modes which units withdraw instead of fall in battle. In the older games, oh, the classic case of really older games are harder than the newer again. ones. Scary. The game's stories are told like chronicles of war with increasingly distinct tales of war with immersive scenes and settings. Oh, are you kidding me? Several characters also I'm, I'm use betting you're not. Series, and six of the seven can use a counter attack. It's their down spell. Six of the six fighters from the Fire Emblem series have a, a counter move. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. Yeah, counter moves are pretty OP. They attack and you counter. Next comes your turn. I know a ton of people in Smash Bros. have a counter move. And now, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the 17th game in the series. 17th game? That's a lot of freaking Fire Emblem games I gotta play through. 17 games? There are that many? Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Huh. Let's try saying them in the Excluding Fire Emblem Excluding spin-offs? So there's more too. Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and Light Dragon. Uh, Mr. I I can't read all those. Tra okay, oh, Trachea, Binding, Blazing Blade, Sacred Stone, Path of Radia, Radia, Radiant Dawn, Shadow Dragon, New Mystery of the Emblem, Awakening, Fates, Heroes, Shadows Valentine, Three Houses. 
So you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. What? This is zero. Fold this here and you get one. Okay. And then you get two. Then two plus one equals three. So this would be four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, that's cool. And then you get sixteen. Add one and you get seventeen. Awesome, isn't it? You're smart. You're smarter than me. You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. Oh, jeez. And if you use both hands, you can 62? count all the way up to 1,023. Okay! If you've given up counting the knots in a tatami mat, you could always give it a go. Try it out when you're bored. You know what? I gotta. What is Fire Emblem? Yeah, what is it? It's a Switch game. That's all I know. In Japanese, the male version of the main character is called Bereto, and the female version is Bereto, called Bereto, and the female is Beresu. The same name, Byleth. Byleth becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Huh. Once you've chosen a house... Didn't I see this in a trailer? ...and, well, you end up fighting the other houses. And one of the last, like, Smash Direct things? After a certain incident, five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. It's a very sad game, in which your former allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. Yeah, that sucks. That's how to get your heart, uh, tugging at the strings. I played an early version of the game before its release. Hands on time with the game prior to release. I wonder why. It's not like you're a big name at Nintendo. With the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example. Because I couldn't wait until launch to experience it. Or a fighter would be late if I waited until after release to learn title, about the game. I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time, hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. Yeah. I did the same this time, but with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for There's it. There's multiple endings? And of course, there weren't any walkthroughs. It was difficult to fully grasp everything the game has to offer. The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is very different. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and the many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles. Yeah, it differs on for each player. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope you'll understand. I mean, if you give me the game, I don't know how to play Harm um, my may as well. Before my demonstration, I should point out that when I did the Terry Bogard showcase video, yeah. I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But this time, we right. have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video. Record almost two months in advance. Right now, it's actually November. Oh! Okay. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. At least he had time to edit the video. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Okay. Here I go. Grab your controller. Uh, as part of challenge pack part five, Byleth. So, so this is our new fighter, Byleth. Did that just stutter? I'm loving the sword. Lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin, Shove. but that's about all you can say There we go. Throws are not their strong Pilot's mobility is low. Dang strength. it. But actually, you could say that Pilot's the a distance, distance demon. The hero's relic they use oh, just home for that one step, he walks stick. slow. Oh, oh frick, he looks powerful. Hero's relics are weapons from Pilot's like original bones, game. And there's a reason for that. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the swordmen that I really like to play. The weapon Byleth uses for upward inputs, the Sword of the Creator. The Sword of the Creator here about to attack the Lucina. Sword of the Creator, if you're wondering what that says. I'm gonna push this back just so you can read it. These flurry attacks, dash attacks, strong attacks, etc. For their up smash attack. They'll whip the sword upward to launch What the heck was- it? Oh my gosh. Up smash attack, launch opponents. You know in the chat, before I like, start to like, watch this thing, I just saw everyone in the chat spam, spam like characters like, you know, Goku, Steve, <laughs> and a bunch of other things. Allowing you to do things like this. It was pretty terrifying how I knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition, that is crippling. You can't just do that. You can't do that. You can't do that to my son. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. Oh. 
Exceed that percentage and you'll need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. I've already shown this, but you can also so use it to latch onto edges. Yeah, I was about to say, that's how so you can... That's the F special. It's kind of like... Now, you know how in uh, Smash Bros. Brawl, this is the that, uh, the weapon from Celtic I'm pretty sure it happened in only Brawl and not Smash 4 as well. The forward, pretty, the it, like, old Omar's, uh, see, up B was, a uh, trail of Pikmin. Like so. Oh, and also kind of like Zero Suit Samus's. Mart's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? Keep them in check, please. If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. Next, the side smash attack. This also oh boy, I'm interested in what this is going to be. Has long reach and can be angled up or down. That is terrifyingly strong. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. Stronger when you press up. And if you've knocked an opponent down, the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. Oh. Oh, that's some precise aiming. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Okay, the shaft part is so you gotta be exact with it. So it's not suited to close combat. Nice. Oof. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. So that's the big that's downside. You gotta be cool. really precise. By the way, I can't even pronounce the name up in the top right. A read bar? A red bar? Area to bar? I don't know, I don't play this game, I'm sorry. An upward swing with extreme reach. will simply swing the lance like this. But again, it is an excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent... Oh, I think that's the mace. At least that's what I'll call it. No, 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 that's the spear. I think. Actually, you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. Oh, yeah. Get some distance. If you don't kill him now, I don't know what he can do. He can be easily shielded, so be careful. Ah, oh, easily shielded. And I think counterable. Has a wide area of attack when used midair. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. Ooh. So this complements it well. Complement side air. I couldn't even read that. Leaves you wide open while landing. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. For the downward inputs. Between heaven and heart. I think that that was a song name, by the way, that appeared. And the aimer. It's named after a weapon that appears in Yuga Riddick myth. First, the oh. down air attack. Down air attack. A downward swing of the axe. Oh, it's an axe. I thought it was a mace. It's a bit more cool, to be honest. Out of I also like maces. Next is the down smash attack. Yeah, that's a swing. Heavy swing of the axe back and forth. As you can see, it has a great deal. I just love once you get a heavy hit in the game just freezes for a minute just to take it all in. If with enough like you know percentage damage, it just freezes with a freaking terrible zoom in. That's amazing in my opinion. Has super armor at the start of the? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be devastating. Which allows you to withstand an attack. Just so, so you, know, you can take some blows. At about the same time. Oh my god. That was terrifying. Man just survived a falcon punch to the face. Exactly. But you can also be grabbed at the start of the move. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest Another issue there. Aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. While you're charging up, you can breeze past oh. platforms like this. I thought you I thought you meant the axe could go through platforms. But that was actually a nice launch. A nice launch, a nice surprise. Good for at least some form of, you know, versatility. Turn left and right at the start. So if an opponent runs behind you during the move, you can quickly change direction. Better for vitality. Vital vital what the frick am I saying? It's good for mobility, I guess I could say. It can be hard to land a hit to aim for... Groups are okay, so you gotta hit multiple people, and hopefully Plus, they're big. Even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good because like it's hitting an axe on the ground is probably gonna cause some form of earthquake. Am I right? By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. Yeah. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem uh -oh. series. Don't counter it. It hits with that much power in a single you know for a fact people are going to use it against characters with a counter, but try and pro-play them. 
The damage multiplier is applied to counter, so be careful when using easy to read attacks like this. Yeah, that's gonna suck. And the fail not. I had a feeling there would be a bone here. It only appears in a few neutral moves. You've got the neutral air attack. Spin the bow? You think you use the sword for that? It lets you spin the weapon around. Or even the spear. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. Yeah, I guess it does make sense because you're hitting multiple times. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. Fire the bow. It seems pretty Beep. straightforward, right? But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this bow. Well, they try countering it, but First, it didn't work. The biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. Ooh! You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. It's also very powerful. That's cool. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. Okay. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but... If you keep holding the button, keep holding it. You'll unleash. Hold it. <laughs> A freaking beam of light! You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You charge up power like so. Charge a bit more, and then that is fire. painfully broken. But again, you'll need to take care when using this move. For one, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Not even with the shield button. Yeah. In other words, you're committed it's to It's too fight. powerful to stuff. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Oh! That sucks. Once you've entered the stand, you won't be able to do anything. Yeah, you, you, you are basically dead at that point. ...to use against fighters who have a move with a reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long-range move. Letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. Yeah, it's sudden. So, you need to think carefully... It's long-range can be co put to good use. By this final smash is called Progenitor God, Ruptured Pass Heaven. that will never cross, is another song that's playing. This is Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. That's quite the name. Oh! As you can see, you Just team up with the mysterious self <laughs> like and attack together. I'm standing up right now, that's great. Attack by joining forces with the mysterious Sophus. You mean the god? <laughs> or the goddess? So that the default and odd, odd numbers are male, even are numbers male, are female. The even numbered ones are female. Oh. However, the third, fourth, and fifth colors are, as you can see, Then P3, P4, and P5 are color variations are based on the house Those leaders. Played their original game will of course understand That's iconic. What to. The sixth color is based on Sophus, who you just Oh, okay. Played. That's cool. And the seventh and eighth variations are different hair color, which is based, based on, on something we won't spoil. The are they gonna release, like, how, what was it, what was the game called, House of Fire? Like DLC, or they gotta release a new Fire Emblem game by spoiling these characters like they did in plumbing uh, one of my series. <laughs> new stage, Koreg Mach Nonastry. I'll introduce the stage. For this one, we have the song is tearing through heaven. The place where you spend most of the game, Garrig Mach Monastery. No, Garrig Mach Monastery. This is how Garrig Mach Monastery is laid out in the original game. Oh my gosh. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. Oh, that's cool. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. Grand. The first area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. Is this, uh, isn't the cathedral the where the source is? Are students of the Blue Lion's house. Dimitri, Dedu, Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Oh, but how would you pronounce them then? I think I pronounced them wrong. Monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Dimitri is the future king. He had quite the difficult yeah, Dimitri. life. He may or may not end up with just one eye. He's an unfortunate one, that one. There are vendors on either side. Vendors on the left and right. Game, these hey. are important booths where you buy all sorts of things. But, uh, here you can break them. <laughs> I thought if you hit them enough, they would drop items. If you do break them, 
The stage will expand to the left and right. All right, now that's cool. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> Shush. And in the background, you can see the gatekeeper. Yo, there's a gatekeeper. Hey, you hey, man. You through this area and fire them three houses, and you end up talking to them a lot. Moving through these areas is possible. Oh, then they go up. Mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop, you'll come crashing back down. Reception hall. Through the ceiling and slammed into the building. Who are these new people then? And the, the Black in the Eagle House. Hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra of the Black Eagles. Edelgard, Dorothea, and, and Petra. Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire, and as such, they embrace their military might. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. That's where they're looking like the most sassiest people right now. It's like, hey, we're girls. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. Oh, you're gonna break them, aren't you? It's possible to knock them down. It's kind of like the uh, top of the thing from the ring stage. However, Violet can't actually reach it. The, yeah, the, the low max stage where you're in the boxing ring. Other fighters, though. Oh, but some oh, people can't even so reach can him. Work your way up there by getting lucky and How dare you freeze? Up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. <laughs> nice. You can knock it down. Got him. Also, you can break this table. Oh, and break like tables, so. why not? Just like the sign that reads Fooding Cousin in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Next up, the bridge. Here comes the, the bridge. The rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's very wide indeed. It's similar is that to bird? the bridge of Elden stage. What is that? Oh, the Golden Deer the house. The Golden Deer. Claude, Hilda, and Claude, Lawrence. Hilda, and they Lawrence. belong to the Leicester Alliance. Doesn't tell us how to because mispronounce it now. Of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members, and Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. I could, I could see that. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. Yeah. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. The naming process must be tough. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. I was about to say, the name's gotta be plenty tough. Design, it's just a long pathway. Trying to come up with more people for every game. You can expect plenty of blows yeah, it's a wide range. The the you could also say it's a place where the fail not really shines. And in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. Oh no, the wide range. Alright, third part. No, 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 this is the fourth part. This is Cathedral. The last area is the Cathedral. Only with some platforms you can pass through. Here's the L. The guests appearing in the Cathedral are Seda, Flane, and Rhea. Seda, who appears to have an extremely Fane. strong bond with his no, sister Flane, Flane. Seda, and Rhea. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. Yeah. I feel that Flame might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. Probably. <laughs> this is a simple area of the stage. All that has simple layout with platforms only. Being the last area, it may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half. Can you minutes. break the platforms? Let's see Violet in action. Okay. Today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per side. Hey, Joker right, and Robin. Here we go, Joker. Let's see the fight. Joker! Let's... No. The DLC. Wait, Hero. Wait, where are you going, Hero? No, Hero, no. No, not Banjo. No, no, not Banjo. He has the full five feathers. By now, I think Dude, you know what Terry, no, it's not worth it, it's not worth it! Basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. Okay, okay. But as expected, it's going Bye, to be here a we go. battle, so I'm using anything I can get my hands on. Yeah, you got items on, you gotta use anything that you can. Oh, that damage oh, is not already bad. good. Oh no! Eevee, who is that? Eevee? No, that's Fennekin! 
better keep my distance. Nice party ball. I'll use this chance Imagine to attack. If someone, yeah, spin. It. I was about to, I was about to freaking say, what if it's someone's bombs? For a moment here. How would you not get hit by that bomb yourself? Lots of explosives. Ouch. Watch out, Ike is a strong boy. Well, the perfect shield of that, huh? He's a tough one. You are really relying on that bow. If I do this, like this, or like so. No anti-air, huh? There it is. There. You hit him with the ball. You're pretty good at this. Oh, get that metal suit. You gotta get that, uh... Oh, okay, Mother Brain. That'll help. Oh, you also... Did you also... No, uh... Well, you have two players. Oh, you have Gardevoir. Okay. I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't Yeah, no one's using projectiles right now. No one's got, like, a bow. You're not fighting, Link. Get that smash. I feel like the enemy might get this smash ball. See? That was too close. And here's where the big the issue plays. Oh, the shield is broken. The there it is. Now it's a 1v1 between Byleth and Roy. Yes, got it. Oh, and you got... Oh, this is going to be a good now, one to finish. What are you charging up for? Get him out. And that didn't get him. still more. That, there's a hammer over there. Go on. You can take the hammer. But it's mine. Yeah, you can Although, take the hammer, but it's mine. Get hit with a counter in this state. Oh, yeah, the counter would mess you up if you got hit with a hammer. I was trying to fight using Bylas and Wendy's alone, but... Yo, look at the street. Good game. That's a good game. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team. So I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. That's a good way to challenge yourself. Song collection. Now, about the additional The music. Apex of the World. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. I knew it. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Yeah, I wonder Our why. selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. Well, that's a lot of... Which... Oh, Japanese. This uh, they have different the themes in Japanese? Okay, Three Houses main theme Japanese, Three Houses main theme, Father Winds, Blue Skies of Bat well. and a Battle, Tearing Through Heaven, Chasing Daybreak, so and more. Also adding in a new spirit board. Oh, new spirits! It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. Mmm! Oh, that's a legend. Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series' history. Wow. Man, they're really dedicating, the final like, Fire Emblem to their game. Hand and crazy hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. What? Now for That's the interesting. Costumes. No spoilers, so we gotta find that out for ourselves. Let's see this. Extra Mii Fighter Costumes, Round 5. Is that the- That's the boy from Assassin's Creed! No, no, I thought that was- Wait, is it- Am I wrong? No, wait, Altar? Or Altair? I have no freaking idea, I think I'm lost. Rabbit. You gotta be kidding me. Am I right saying that was a guy from Assassin's Creed, or am I just being a pleb? Because he looks so pleb and similar. What's next? Mega Man X? Oh, they got X! The pleb and gunner! That's cool. Mega Man Battle Network. And they got Mega Man.exe. Man, they got some Mega Man stuff in here. What? Yo! Yo, you're probably kidding me! For Cuphead, there is no shortage of adventure of Aim Wild, but when he's. Oh! They got Cuphead skins?! For Adventure! Oh, that's great! Oh, I love it! Oh, that's great! Now that's a skin! Includes a music track, too, like Sans! That's an exciting one! Yo, you can't see it, but people are freaking out about Cuphead right now. 
Yo, Cuphead is Tetley in Smash, guys. He has his own freaking thing. Sans and Cuphead are in Smash. January 20th for 75 cents each. You know Cuphead is immediately by. This time we're releasing a Cuphead costume. Cuphead cost, yes. I'm doing a let's play of that right now. Shout outs. If you purchase it, you would also get an additional song. It's called Floral Fury. Floral Fury, Cagney Carnation Battle Music. That I remember that. I hope you enjoy these as well. This is definitely an enjoyment. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. Look at that Japanese screen. Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately. <laughs> Look at that. Sans. The only English names I see is Sans and Veronica. And now, on to the amiibo. Yo, they got Dark Samus and that's Richter? Pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release. Oh, I was right. January 17th. It releases tomorrow. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighter Pass. Five fighters join the fight. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is finally complete. Nice. The lineup was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard, and Violet. There's still gonna be more though, right? From more than 70 fighters, only five have been added. More but than I must 70. Say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. Yeah. There really were a lot That's of skill. mechanics weren't there. When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. Yeah, you gotta offer a new style of play while also, like, bringing the content original. As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters nice. down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but, well, have a look. What? Even more fighters in development. Oh my gosh! Five more! No, six more! Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. That's one more challenger pack than last time. For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be Volume 2? There's gonna be multiple volumes! Keep an eye out. And now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now. And I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. It will be available for pre-purchase like with no details. Time, very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why. I don't care. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. The contents had already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. That's how to get your hopes down. <laughs> but I still hope you'll look forward to it. Is this the end? We're also including a bonus with Fighter's Pass. A special volume bonus two. for purchasing Last Fighter Pass Volume 2. Costume. But this time, here's what we have. Costume? Hey, it's Breath of the Wild Link. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter. The Ancient Soldier costume from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild! This will not be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. That looks really cool. Only purchasable if you have the Fighter Pass. Lastly. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game- Best selling fighting game in the world? Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. In a sense. I mean, you punch people in the face, so it could be considered like Street that. Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed- Oh, Street Fighter 2 was in the lead? Wow. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or six to seven if you really want to get into the weeds. Plus, yeah, you got, the don't you, version, got, you got Ryu and Ken in your game, it doesn't matter. System, so I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Yeah. Definitely. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. 
I feel like I don't know what else we considered. Some sort of celebration. A celebration of game. Well, entirely. Yeah, you are right in that. Also, I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. Yeah. The first fighters pass just wrapped up. Mm -hmm. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. I'm glad. Which means no breaks for me. <laughs> no breaks. Keep working hard, so I hope you can continue to support us. We're gonna. That's it. Thank you. Love you, man. And that's it. That's gotta be the end. Yup, it is. All right. Oh, freaking it is. All right. So basically, that was it. So basically, a bunch of things. We got Byleth, a uh, new character, two versions of him, which I think the character is really cool. Five new me costumes, including the new custom Cuphead one, which, along with Sans, I think that's actually amazing. Uh, I, I guarantee you, the next one, they're going to have, like, Steve or something. That's what I'm betting on. But tell me Cuphead's in Smash, guys. <laughs> so that's something to make a thumbnail about. I guess I really have nothing else to say about this, but, like, I'm actually excited to play this new character. Oh, what are you playing? Were you trying to replay it? Don't you dare. I just paused it. So you can't play. It's illegal to play you now. Okay. Oh, it's an error. <laughs> an error. The error has occurred. Alright. So I guess that was really it for this little reaction thing. I thought it'd just be really cool to react to it. I'm gonna have to probably upload this tomorrow. But, you know, well, well, we're here now. So, if you enjoyed this little reaction thing, this little video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share this video with your friends if you enjoyed my, you know, Hey, you can see me in the shadow. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, if you enjoyed my content, then why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of, like, reactions and stuff like that. And if you haven't yet, or you're looking forward to, please be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all of my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. But above all else, I will see you in the next video. Hey, all the hype beasts.